Good morning, you're welcome to the breakfast of Plus TV Africa. My name is Reme Paul. And my name is Nyamgul Agaji. It's another Tuesday morning and we're thankful to God that we are breathing and healthy this morning. Welcome to another breakfast. Yeah, Lume, Lume has always been a very vocal person, um, even before now. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember times he stood up in the National Assembly and said that if they fear no man, at least they should fear God, because all of them profess one faith or the other, mm -hmm. whether you're a Christian or a Muslim. So whatever they're doing right now does not really speak well of them as Muslims or Christians, so mm -hmm. they should uh, do better. Dume doesn't care whether he belongs to a particular political party, whether he's mm -hmm. or PDP. He cares about Nigeria, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are like that. Um, the unfortunate thing is that if you say the truth, they'll just label you an opposition. They'll label you a rebel. They'll label you some all sorts of names instead of looking into the issues that you have raised. Mm -hmm. Remember that the other uh, senator was was suspended. We've always been talking about mm -hmm. it because he said he didn't understand. The, the, padding. the padding in the budget, or whether there, there was no padding, they should have explained it to him. But he was suspended for more than three months, so which means his constituency was not represented for mm -hmm. all that time. Mm -hmm. That is not democracy, as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Dume spoke out and said that the president was inaccessible, and Nigerians are suffering. And then he was removed as chief whip, uh, though he was given another, another portfolio, but it doesn't really make him uh, as relevant as he used to be mm. as a chief whip. So I don't know what is going on in Nigeria. I've always said this, even at the inception, uh, at the very beginning, when I saw that the National Assembly of, is full of people who are wearing the, uh, the signature cap of the president, it shows you that they are all president's boys mm. and they are, they are going to do his bidding. Mm. But also, I'm, I'm not going to, to blame the president 100% because I'm thinking that some of these things he may not even know. Yeah, and there are people who are mm -hmm. preventing him from knowing these things. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need a president that can always be up and about on mm -hmm. his own without having to be told by his lieutenants what is mm -hmm. happening in the country. Mm -hmm. So I think we should learn from this and see that anytime we are electing anybody, we should, we should be uh, very mindful of whether that person asked an individual can do the job, it's close it, to the people. yes, even without the, the people that he has employed, Assigned. you know, mm -hmm. coming to tell him uh, one, two, and three. Maybe the president still doesn't go to the social media, just like it's he said campaign. during his campaign, mm -hmm. that he doesn't go because they berate him all, all the time. So maybe it's still the same case, and he's relying on the people to tell him what is happening, and they're not telling him yeah. from what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll comment on Dume, and I think that is what patriotism is all about. 
I think at the end of the day, you as a Nigerian, you come first before any political party, before any religion, before any tribe. So at the end of the day, if you want something that is good for your country, you have to speak up. And that's what he's exactly. doing now. But it's just so funny that when you do, it's almost like they're scapegoating you, like telling you, why would you speak up? And then they punish you for that. Instead of commending you and saying, yes, you're doing the right thing, they punish you. And in a way, for others, it's almost like, oh, I'm scared of speaking up because I don't want what happened to this person to mm -hmm. happen to me. I don't want to be suspended because I'm sure there are lots of people who know the truth. If you search your conscience, as long as you're a leader, in fact, as long as you're a human being, if you search your conscience, you know what the truth is. And if you're not doing what is right by the people of Nigeria, you know, when you sleep at night, you know. But there's always that thing of, I don't want people to look at me like the bad egg. I want to always have favor of my colleagues, especially in the National Assembly. But it is okay to step out. If, for instance, you know that it is what is good for you, for your constituents and for the, for the people of Nigeria at large, then that's what you should be doing. Not trying to hide behind the, sh the, the shadows of others, even when you know that what they're doing is not good or what they're doing is wrong and is bad. And we're talking about inaccessibility of the president, it is important that you have someone who is a leader that is close to the people. Who are you leading? I wonder. Because, who are you leading? Are because, you just leading okay, a few? If Ndume, select? for instance, has a different opinion as to how to go about the problems of Nigeria, he cannot access the president. Mm -hmm. And he's a, a senator, for crying out yeah, loud. Yeah, they so, talk more about me and yeah, you. So, so if from his constituency he knows a problem, who better is it to tell the president than him, mm -hmm. who is the senator? He might say it on the floor of the house, yes, but... It, it goes beyond that because yeah. this is a president and, and I you're am you're representing senator. your yes. people. I, I don't know. And the, 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 the people at the helm of affairs have time and again proven uh, a, a very laziness in intellectuality, if, you, if you, are, you permit me to say that. Because if there's a problem that people are talking about, instead of proffering solution and you begin to point accusing from, uh, fingers, I think that is intellectual laziness, that, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Because if they face that same, of, same problem during campaigns, they would find a way around it mm -hmm. to convince the people that this is... But uh, now you've won the ticket, so, you cannot be bothered anymore. Yeah, so, so imagine someone in the National Assembly will stand up to say, a deputy uh, Senate president will st stand up to say that Nigeria is the giant of Africa and so we should not be carrying placards like smaller countries like Kenya. What so kind we should be <laughs> so <laughs> America so we should be suffering. People protest in uh, bigger countries. Suffering and smiling and, and we saying, be oh, because we're bigger. Instead of you to think about how to say, okay, uh, we've seen this problem. Matter. Okay, give us two months or give us a month. And we'll this is what it. we are going to do in the interim and all that. And you bring solutions and give people the confidence that, okay, let's wait a little bit more. Something will be done. And you're telling us that we're the giant of Africa. People are protesting and killing people because of bread. People are protesting and doing a lot of things because of small tax that was raised. Mm -hmm. Here in Nigeria, people are keeping quiet, but it has reached a point where you can no longer feed your family. And you're telling us that we're too big to, to protest. Packers. We're too big to carry placards. I, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Mm. And that also goes like the next trend, the top trending issue. Don't protest in FCT. F CP urges uh, Buja residents. The FCT Commissioner of Police, Bennett uh, Igwe, urged residents to avoid participating in a planned nationwide protest on August 1, citing efforts to maintain security in the area. Igwe emphasized that the protest could compromise the safety that the police have worked hard to ensure mentioning the loss of policemen in recent operations. He highlighted the government's efforts to improve infrastructure in the FCT, including road developments, and warned against actions that could undo these improvements. The commissioner appealed to residents to act responsibly and maintain the safety and order of the nation's capital, appreciating the sacrifices made by the police. Mm -hmm. Now, the police CP is the government spokesman. Mm -hmm. Do not protest. Yeah in the FCT. I think at this point he should have been saying, okay, we will provide security because... To ensure that it's yes. a peaceful protest. Because yes. I think being able to protest is a fundamental it's human a fundamental right. right. You should be able to say what you feel. You should be able to express yourself. So you're telling me not to come out to protest and I should be suffering and smiling and there's nothing you're going to do about it. You're, there's nothing you're going to do to alleviate my suffering. That, that is not to say we are endorsing uh, yeah. protests, that the people must go out on the street to protest and all that. But if that is the only way to express the uh, grievances or the problems that we are having in this country, 
the police should be thinking about how to offer protection to these people and yeah. make sure that miscreants don't hijack, hijack the, the exactly. protest. The protest is, you know, a statement being made. It's not a fight. Mm -hmm. It's when it, be, it turns violent that it no longer uh, is what is... Yeah, so nobody is saying we're going to carry knives or guns or mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. They're going to carry placards. They're going to march peacefully mm -hmm. and all that. So the police, I think at this point, should be talking about providing security mm -hmm. that will make sure that nobody is hurt, will make sure that you do what you're doing and then go back to your homes and because all that. Because right now, this just seems like you're threatening us and telling us you have to stay home. There is no way you can express yourself. And what I would expect for you is to say, in fact, let's, let's see how we can ensure that your lives are better. Because at the end of the day, if, for instance, everything was great in Nigeria, our economy was thriving, there was um, good infrastructure, we have good development, we have security, I don't think there's any reason why anybody would want to come out. If you have a system that works, mm. do you think you're going to come out to what, start what carrying placards? What, am, what I am I coming out to do? I'm going to be minding my own business at home. I'm going to be minding whatever I like to do. I'm not going to come out and say I don't have so much work anymore and I just want to carry placards on the streets. But it's because I know that if even when I'm trying to express myself, you're not hearing me. The president is inaccessible. The lawmakers are doing whatever they feel like doing over there. So how else am I going to express myself? It's by peacefully protesting. And if I decide to, I should be allowed. If I decide not to, I should also be allowed. But allow me to express how I feel and then look for how to make my life better. All I'm asking is for you to make my life better. The, the primary responsibility of the government is to ensure that, you know, my security is there, my welfare is taken care of. So if you're not going to provide all of these things, I don't think it is in your right or it's in, it is in your purview to tell me how to feel and how to express myself. Yeah, I think this statement, I, I think people should, st should start taking seriously who talks for them. Mm -hmm. All the organizations, governments and everything, we should start, be mindful of who talks for us because sometimes people just say things that they should not say. Okay, this now will give the people who are bound to protest the idea that the police will not protect them. Yeah, no. so, it, so really you are leaving things. home prepared mm -hmm. that in case there's something... Defensive, yes. yeah, so you're already being if defensive. If that happens, then... It will, the, the, it will be a very thin line. You can trigger you know, someone. Every, some, yeah. yeah. So be mindful what you say. Be mindful how you address the people. And this is why we have an organization for public relations. There are people who, who do PR for others. There are people mm -hmm. who can advise you on how to say what. You can even have a good intention. But the way you say it will be so damaging that uh, you will have a result that is yeah, negative. catastrophic. Very, very catastrophic. That's, <laughs> that's the word, in, yeah. in fact. So be mindful of what you say and how you say okay, it. Yeah. That is why we have professionals to do all those things. Mm -hmm. So even if you are a, a, a Senate president, you should have someone who would advise you on how to say what you need to say. Mm -hmm. Even if you are the president himself. In the right way that it will yes. just land better. and Because that's what communication is all about. There are about. people who can tell you you are such a fool and you don't be happy being that fool <laughs> because <laughs> they said it right. You see, that is how it is. Communication mm -hmm. is very key. Yeah. So you just go about saying things. My lecturer used to say, um, meanings are in people, not in words. So mm. no matter what words you're using, the people will choose to believe what they want to believe. So yeah. that's why if you're communicating, you will use the best possible approach mm -hmm. so that the people right. who will misunderstand you will be insignificant mm, yeah, because they're be bound to be minimal. others like it'll that. Be, it will be very minimal. I agree. All right, our final top trending story, ministries, agency heads ignoring parliamentary invitations, embarrassing. House of Reps has said the House of Representatives expressed embarrassment over ministers and heads of government agencies frequently ignoring parliamentary invitations. Speaker Abbas Tajuddin warned that the House might take measures to ensure compliance with these invitations, citing the behavior as disgraceful and an abuse of power. At an investigative hearing, the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, NEPC, and the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, clashed over unpaid 10% freight levies. NEPC claimed NIMASA has not paid the levies since 1992, while NIMASA argued its founding act does not mandate such payments, prompting lawmakers to suggest reviewing the legal framework of both agencies. Mm. NIMASA, NEPC... 
What do you think? NNPC has, has been fingered as the most corrupt um, organization in Nigeria, mm -hmm. yet there's no major shakeup in NNPC. No, NEPC. NEPC. Yeah. Yeah, well, I have mentioned NNPC, so <laughs> let me just say. And now Dangote is crying and everybody's mm -hmm. crying and all that. So, but, but the thing is, bottom line is that people are being invited and they do not come. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's very unfortunate. It should never be that way because uh, that body, the National Assembly, should be like the highest body. Yeah, when it, it should the, be when revered. It, when they cough, you should, you should, you should listen. It should be uh, revered. But I don't know. Maybe the integrity of the members themselves mm -hmm. is, is the problem. It's, it's what they call sifinishism. Because, yeah. Sifinishism. <laughs> because what can you do? Mm -hmm. Because I have, I have your file as mm -hmm. well. So what are you going to do? Uh, you invite them and they come and you set up a committee and that's the end of it. So why waste my time in the first place? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they should uh, not be going to that place, but, but um, the National Assembly also should make these people respect them. Yeah, more. put your house in order. Yes, put your house if in you order. put your house in order, then when you speak, you are revered. And when you invite these people, they even want to come. Because at the end of the day, I think this is supposed to be um, a mediation between both parties. Yes. So you have the NEPC and Nimasa who was arguing about the 10% levy. So it's just for you to come. Let's talk about it. What's going on? If you're saying it's not part of the legal framework, one party is saying you've been owing us since 1992, which is about 32 years. That's a long time. Okay, how do we ensure that both parties are okay and no one feels slighted? That's why they're even inviting you in yeah, the first place. But, but, but you are deciding only, not the to. Only ones who do not come. That's the point. A lot mm -hmm. of people are invited that they don't come. Even some them, even um, some, some petroleum invited. companies have yes. been invited yes. for certain um, reasons, but then they. Do. So how did we get to this point where we just don't respect? people anymore we don't respect offices the anymore themselves don't respect the law mm. well <laughs> and then, and vice versa they, 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 they want people to respect them the lawmakers and mm. these people are not respecting them there, there are so many ministries that have been invited to come for one thing or the other if, maybe not just for mediation come mm. and tell us how you've been spending this money accountability Nobody comes. Sometimes you invite them up to seven times. They'll be sending their secretaries or their rep yeah, representatives until they say, okay, we'll order uh, for your arrest. And then he just comes and says one or two things. And that's mm. the end of it. So I don't really know where these invitations take us because at the end of the day, it ends with uh, committees being set and taxpayers' money still going to police mm. committees <laughs> and then nothing is heard about it. But, well. but whoever is involved, if you are invited, go and explain yourself. Exactly. And, and your hands be clean. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. All right, we'll go on a short break. When we return, we'll be reviewing the papers. Please stay with us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.